Hello friends, back to problem analysis. It's me Jaseem. If you are interested in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry, properties of codes and tangents and the Pythagoras theorem, then here is an interesting problem. Take two lines with a common starting point and one of them is horizontally directed. A circle is drawn in between that touches both of these lines. From one touching point, the perpendicular is drawn to the horizontal tangent. Two parts of the horizontal tangent has lengths 6 and 4 units as shown in the picture. Then my problem is, what is the area of the circle? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. For better understanding, let's give some notations to each vertex. The starting point of the tangents is denoted as A. The touching points of the tangents are denoted as B and C. And the remaining two vertices are denoted as D and E. Now let's analyze what are given in the problem. First of all, AB and AC are tangents drawn to the circle from the same point. Secondly, the line BD is perpendicular to the side AC. And finally, AD equal to 6 units and CD equal to 4 units. Now remember what is our aim of this problem. It is nothing but to find the area of the circle. This is the structure of our problem, so always keep in mind. Now observe the diagram. Suppose the radius of the circle is r, then its area will be pi r square. We have to find this value. So first we need to calculate the value of r. Now we can remove the extensions of tangents from the figure and let's say the center of the circle is O. Before going to the further explanations, we need to know some important properties of codes and tangents of a circle. In fact, there are four properties in total. Let's see them step by step. So, property 1. Consider a circle and a point P outside the circle. Now, draw the two tangents to the circle from the point P. Let's say the touching points are Q and R. Now look at the lines PQ and PR. They are equal. That is, the fact is, the two tangents of a circle drawn from a single point are equal up to their touching points. Noting this point, come back to the figure and observe the lines AB and AC. They are tangents to the circle drawn from a single point. Therefore, by the property 1 we mentioned, they are equal. That is AB equal to AC. Now look at the line AC. It is clear from the figure that AC equal to 6 plus 4 equal to 10 units. And therefore, the line AB is also equal to 10 units. Now in the figure, consider the right triangle ABD. We have AB equal to 10 and AD equal to 6. Then by the Pythagoras theorem, we will get BD square equal to 10 square minus 6 square equal to 100 minus 36 equal to 64 and therefore BD equal to 8 units. At this point, we have to know the next property of tangents to a circle. So property 2. Consider a circle and an exterior point O. Draw a tangent from the point O that touches the circle at R. Now draw a line from O that crosses the circle at the points P and Q. Then the fact is, OP into OQ equal to OR square. That is, the product of the lengths OP and OQ is equal to the square of the length of the tangent OR. Now come back to the figure and observe this part. Here we can apply the last property we mentioned. Then we will get product of the lines DE and DB is equal to square of the tangent DC that is DE into DB equal to DC square. Now from the figure, the side DB is equal to 8 
and the tangent dc equal to 4. So dc square equal to 4 square. That is de into 8 equal to 16. And therefore de is equal to 16 by 8 equal to 2 units. And from that we can see that the side BE is equal to 8 minus 2 equal to 6 units. Now come back to the figure. And it's time to see an important property of codes in a circle. So here is the third property in our problem. Consider a circle and draw an arbitrary code. Now mark the midpoint of the code. And draw another code that is perpendicular to the first code through the midpoint. Then the fact is, this code will be a diameter of the circle. Or in another way, if a diameter or a radius perpendicularly cuts a code, then it bisects that code. Now come back to the problem. And note that the side BE is a code of the circle. Now draw the radius that is perpendicular to the code. Let's say it is OM. That is, radius OM is perpendicular to the code BE. And hence, by the last property we mentioned, the radius OM will bisect the code BE. That means, the length of the code, which is 6 units, will split into 3 units each. Now we are almost done. We have to note the last property of tangents. So, property 4. Consider a circle and draw an arbitrary tangent to the circle. Now draw the radius connecting the center of the circle and the touching point of the tangent. Then the fact is, tangent and radius to the tangent are perpendicular to each other. Noting this point, come back to our problem. And consider the horizontal tangent to the circle. Now draw the radius from its touching point. Then by the last property we have seen, it will be perpendicular to the tangent. Why we are doing this is because we can see a quadrilateral here. It's actually a rectangle as it looks like. But we are just trying to prove that. So in this quadrilateral, one angle is 90 degree. But these two angles are already right angles. Then in this quadrilateral, three angles are right angles. And hence we can confirm that it's actually a rectangle. Now, as we know, in a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. So, consider these two opposite sides. That implies R equal to 3 plus 2, that is equal to 5. So, in the diagram of our problem, radius of the circle R is equal to 5 units. Then, area of the circle is equal to pi R square equal to pi into 5 square that is equal to 25 pi square units. This value is approximately equal to 78.5398 square units. And that is the solution we are looking for. And that's all about this video. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. And thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another interesting problem.